Ladies and gentlemen, Darkside Phil here, and tonight I'm doing something new, I'm doing something different, and actually, interestingly enough, I'm doing something for the very first time. Tonight I'm starting up a narrative-based game called Twin Mirror. From Don't Nod, the makers of Life is Strange 1 and 2, as well as the recent Tell Me Why, which I really enjoyed. Much like those games, it's a narrative-based game, and it's a PlayStation 4 game, although I'm playing it on my PlayStation 5. The reason that I'm saying this is an interesting experiment, this is actually the first PS4 game that I purchased exclusively to play on my PS5. All the other games that I've been playing that have crossed over basically have had improved PS5 versions or the like. The only exception there would be Yakuza 7, but that's a playthrough that I have been playing you know, ongoing. So this is a fresh playthrough on the PS5. Will Twin Mirror run better on PS5 than it would have on PS4? I don't know. We're going to find out. All right. But anyway, this is a mystery thriller. Okay. Mystery thriller, which is good. I like mystery thrillers. I like, you know, every narrative based game that has ongoing mystery. I really enjoy those kind of games. So I'm definitely looking forward to fun. I hope you guys are ready for a narrative based adventure. Here we go. Twin Mirror. So what is Twin Mirror? I don't even know what it means. Twin Mirror, two mirrors, seeing double maybe. Or maybe there's a twin, there's a, do a doppelganger of, of this character in the game. I don't know. I don't even know what the name means. We're about to find out. Okay? All right, Shibuya Productions. Very good. <clears throat> all right, all right. Twin Peaks. I, lo I really like the Twin Peaks TV show. All right, Twin Mirror. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, great. And your license agreement. Completely ignore that. Probably says I gotta like mortgage my house, just put a second mortgage on my house in order to pay an ongoing service agreement or something. Uh, privacy policy, I don't care. Adjust the brightness. Uh, I think you know what? Here's the thing. Up until now, until PlayStation 5, it seemed to me that whenever I captured and stream, that the videos always showed up darker than what I was seeing. Recently, I've noticed, I think they're about the same on PS5. I don't know how that, that case is, but it seems like that. So I'm just going to leave it on default, and we'll see how it looks. Okay, now, options. What? I said options. What is this? <laughs> what the? No, what is this? Options. Fucking options. Options. That was a bad start. That was a very bad start. Okay, video. Okay, we did that. Audio. All the volumes maxed. Uh, languages and subtitles. Here you go. On by default. Okay, we want large subtitles. And I do want a subtitle background. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> okay. I think we're good now. New game. Let's just check out those credits again. They look pretty good. Okay. <laughs> what a great start. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> All right, here we go. The skies are finally clearing up after a light rain fell most of the afternoon. The weather's approaching 49 degrees, so we've got a brisk West Virginia evening ahead of us. My favorite song. Oh, my God. It's always great when you have multiple medication bottles sitting at the, in your, your console of your automobile. Fatal car crash. Judge found dead. We'll the Looks like it's exactly the same graphical engine as Tell Me Why. It looks very, very similar. Which is fine. Tell Me Why looked great. Of course, I'm, I'm playing this on PS5. So I can tell you, at least for now, it's a smooth 60 frames per second, which is very nice. I hope that you guys can see that as well, because I am broadcasting and recording it there. Oh, they're playing my favorite song. How nice of them to know what my favorite music is. Take my clothes and walls, my oh, my controller's vibrating. Haptic feedback train. <laughs> Does the wheel go down that low? Let me breathe. He sure looks like, like his jacket looks dirty. Bug? You're gonna be at the wake, right? Bug? Who the fuck is Bug? He actually can call Run someone Bug? <laughs> I for something real. Oh, but. Oh, radio station. I'm playing 
long in my ear. Industrial area, right? So it looks like it's loud. Keep coming I'm gonna lower my uh, lower my headphones a little bit. I'll lower the stream volume a little bit. I don't know how loud this song is for you guys. Keep coming alive. Keep coming along. Keep coming alive. Hello, Frapplin. How you doing? First name Bug, last name Catcher. <laughs> First name Bug, last name Snacks. <laughs> he drives into town and it's infested with bug snacks. The fucking Sando Pete, Sando Pete, walking across the street like, oh, fuck. He puts it in reverse, backs up. <laughs> I'm out of here. Lookout point. Oh, it's not 60 frames anymore. It's much choppier now. Huh. It'll probably be variable, depending on what you're doing. Time to kill before the funeral. Oh, it's... Whoa! Well it here. Yo, it's like 20 frames now. It actually... It, what the hell? It went from full, nice buttery 60 frames to 20. Well, this I know what we're doing here. one for decisions. Somewhere for things to fall apart. Okay. Registration sign. The company... Oh, rest... <laughs> registration? Restoration sign. The company made sure we knew how generous Welcome they were. Welcome back to Basswood, Sam. Basswood? Basswood State for it, Forest. Known for fishing. And woods. Basswood. Nice lens flare. I came up here every chance I could. One of the all-time great views. Really makes a small town look big. The all-time greats. Warning fall hazard. I think the massive cliff face would be a giveaway. Well, you, some people are just fucking idiots. Quite frankly, in real life, they have to put shit like this on because people are so dumb. Well, there's no sign that says I could fall, so that means I'm perfectly protected, right? And start fucking balancing on the, on the, the fence and shit. Oh, look at this. A cemetery. Basswood mine, basswood the town itself. Oh, can you, we can look at each of these things. Okay, hold on. I'm not sure Nick would even want me at his funeral, given how I left things. Nick, I wonder if Nick is that. Didn't they say it was a judge passed away in the in the news article in the car? So maybe that's who Nick is. Strange to think of basswood without its mine. So it's a it's a rural, well not rural, but it's a mountainous mining town. Maybe all the industry really comes from mining. My hometown. It felt more imposing in my nightmares. Hmm. And what is this? This is the river, Basswood River. I remember spending entire summers on the banks fishing with Nick. So is Nick his brother or something, maybe? Orientation board? A view of Basswood. A travel through West Virginia says ruined, closed, socks. <laughs> Founded in 1865, the small mining town quickly grew along the coal industry, with the coal industry. At its peak, Basswood produced more coal than any other town in West Virginia. With the basswood mine being one of the most consistent coal mines in the United States, basswood's also a wonderful place to simply let nature be nature outside of the Appalachian Trail. With its hundreds of miles of hiking trails, a perfect example of the true West Virginia way of life, basswood is both a reminder of its past and a glimpse into its bright future. Well, there you go. A couple shout-outs here. Constantin Luke Janek. Timmy a dollar said, I'll start tips for today. Enjoy the movie. I mean, game. Good luck. Thank you, Constantine, for the dollar tip. And Chipe also took me four dollars twenty cents. And shout out to King Michael. There you go. You got a, you got a shout out, King Michael. Congrats. Thank you, Chipe, for the tip. Thank you. Oh shit. Thank you guys for getting stuff started tonight. And uh, uh, I'm having problems here. Hold on. <laughs> I'm having problems typing. Five dollars in total tips to start. Thank you, everybody. Well, thank you to you two who just tipped, of course. But thank you everyone for being here. All righty. Get out of here. Anything else? Boy, it's real choppy. So, I guess, you know what? It was actually, he was wearing a leather jacket. I thought it was like a an actual, like a vest or a, a suit jacket. It's not. It's like a leather out, out, out jacket that's worn. So, I guess it's okay that it's kind of worn out. I, I won't compl I won't comment or criticize. I've got a leather jacket I've had for about, shit, I want to say about 15 years that I still wear. I'm a little beat up, but I still wear it. Emergency phone. Directly connect to the emergency line. You get the feeling it still sees some use, given how bad the coverage is up here. Yeah, he's true up in the mountains. Very uh, bad cell service. 
basswood wildlife area. What what kind of wildlife do they have out here? They've got possums. It looks what appear to be mountain lions. Uh, of course, de beautiful deer, a beautiful American fox, and of course, the sandopede. Uh, Hunting look. is another tradition I could never get behind. Just don't see the appeal. Well, I, I agree and disagree. Like, I think hanging out with, with friends or loved ones, learning the art of the hunt, having a skill that if you ever needed it to survive is very nice. But let's be honest here. Most people who hunt today just do it for sport and don't need to do it for meat or anything. So I, I wouldn't want to kill an innocent animal just for the sake of killing it. If you were going to kill it and actually eat the meat and, and, and it's an animal that you know, needs to have the population controlled, I think that's a little different. Um, okay. When hunting, curing, would you any and all required permits and licenses? Do not hunt while under the influence of alcohol. <laughs> yeah, probably a bad idea. Shoot your friend in the ass. Hunting is forbidden between half an hour after sunset and half an hour before sunrise. These trails were great to walk if you wanted to feel truly alone. Okay. Uh, Local Nomad is here. Did 100 bit, 10 bit cheer. It's a dark side chill. Very nice. Thank you, Local Nomad. I, I think this will be a pretty chill playthrough. Okay, 110 bits. 110 bits. Thank you, local nomad. <clears throat> really? Solarian says, I forget which state it is, but there's actually a wild hog infection in one of the states in America, and you can hunt them down, you know, no problem because there's so many of them. Actually, the weirdest thing is happening in Florida. They're having an infestation of iguanas. Yes, people were, were getting iguanas as pets, not taking care of them, letting them out into the wild, and they have begun to re uh, re reproduce wildly. And there's, like, parts of Florida that are ransacked with, like, fucking iguanas everywhere. That is not good. Those things are giant. A lot of people were upset when it closed, but not upset enough to fix it. The hiking trail? They're pissed that the hiking trail broke down. Shout out to, to Local Nomad. No, what am I talking about? I just did that. Shout out to Hygienic Streamer Tips, who sent me $3. I'm looking forward to a fun-filled stream. All right, Hygienic Streamer Tips. Thank you for the tip. Hope you'll behave tonight. Okay. Uh, food locker. Keeps hikers and hunters safe from bears? Oh, because if you're bringing food up here to eat when you're, like, let's say you're hiking, you come back, you want to eat your lunch. You lock your food up because there's wild bears. If the bears smell the food on you, they'll come and eat you. <laughs> That's, I've heard about this. I left a sandwich in it for a whole week once. Dad never let me forget it. Did you eat it? Make your I hope your dad made you eat it at today. <laughs> But Dad has legs. They suck those legs in like noodles, son. You're not I wasting. I love looking at basswood from up here. Help give me perspective. Until that day. Uh oh. Well, the de first of all, this is not very fucking safe. Look at this. This is bad news. So they won't let you walk any further. But they should really fix that. Until that day, we wonder what's the day that what's the day where he didn't like coming up here anymore. A spyglass. Sparry King Chase, so your voice is lagged behind the video of you worse on this stream for some reason. Um, test. What the hell's going on? Hold on a second. Testing, testing. No, it's not. Nope. It's synced on my end. If it's delayed, it's your internet connection for some reason. I don't know why, but it's synced for me. Why can't the yeah. real world be as clear and peaceful as my own mind? What the fuck is going on? What is this? What the hell is this? Uh. Even if it does make closure. nothing, it stays hidden in here. Not even me. What the? What am I looking at? What just happened? Did the guy lose his go nuts or something? Yeah, people are saying it's not delayed for them. See, Spartan King, I told you. What the frick? Do you know what this reminds me of? Um, heavy rain. Norman Jaden putting on the the uh, altered reality glasses to try to solve crimes, right? That's what this look at his shirt. His shirt has like look at that insignia of a bunch of heads, right? Symbol. Yeah, that's reminding me of this reminds me of the Norman Jaden headset. Now, by the way, it's a, a nice smooth buttery 60 frames again for me. So, mine closure. New Virginia coal under investigation. Why would the coal have been under investigation? Optimal shot angles, so he used to play pool, I guess. See that? I loved pool. I love pool. I used to play billiards uh, with my friends all the time, but at the same time, I never used fucking math formulas to figure out the angles. Um, an anonymous sub gifter gives us up to Play Scratch Nutty Adventure. Congratulations, Play Scratch Nutty Adventure. 
Oh, that's not a fingerprint TM52 Twitch. That is a symbol. It looks like a head, but it's a head within a head within a head. Like a hallway of heads. That's what it looks like. Oh, now it's choppy again. Yeah, now it's not 60 frames again. Wow, this game cannot figure out how many frames it wants to run. It's choppy again. Memory. So, Pac-Man. It actually has real Pac-Man. Look at that. Uh, I've been meaning to ask you something. Don't freak out. Would you be my little girl's godfather? I, I wouldn't trust anyone else with this. Huh. Well, that's an honor. And yet I stopped taking his calls. He even called once the day before he died. Oh my god, I'll seriously? I never know what he wanted to talk to me about. Wow, and it's messed up. So, do, does everyone ever know what a godfather is? So what a godfather is, is for example, let's say you have a loved one or a family member and you really trust them and you have a child. You can name that family member or loved one the godfather of the child and what that means is that if anything were to ever happen, oh now it's 60 frames again. This is weird. If anything were to ever happen to you, like the parents, the godfather and godmother would basically take care of that child, okay? Um, kind of like adopt, you, you would pledge to adopt them as a parent. So it's a big responsibility because you never know what's going to happen, right? <clears throat> Are we going to have a memory here or no? I guess not. Whoa, the basswood rail accident? Damage track led to derailing. Okay. I guess we're not going to find out what this is. I don't know. It's a memory that's not lo that's locked. Maybe, maybe we'll, we'll see it later. Oh, here comes something. Another memory. Okay. Re uh, remember. The story is important. You know I think that. It's just... People around here have short tempers and long memories. Be careful. <clears throat> Sam, okay. are you even listening to me? I have no I idea what that was. Anna. But no, I wasn't listening. So her name is Anna, okay. Am I Derek's godfather? Surprisingly enough, uh, about 4,000 names have been presented to me for me to be the godfather over the years I've been a content creator. I always turn it down, though. I tell him, listen, sorry, I can't take on that massive amount of responsibility. All my all my, my viewers always want me as their goddaddy. <laughs> <clears throat> What is it? Someone skinny dipping? What? Why would you yeah. want to see that? You really need to see this. I can't even see. Something's blocking it. Sam. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to be romantic. What? Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. Oh, shit. He got owned, didn't he? Down on one knee? A ring? What else would I be doing? Oh, no. I guess she doesn't really love him, huh? Wow. Oh. look like I just ran over your grandma. Okay, the silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna, please say something. Damn. Sam. I guess you can't read the room. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. Huh? I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. What? You should know that. We've discussed it before. Huh? So they're together. They do want to spend their lives together, but she doesn't want to get married? A blast from the past got the first trophy. That's odd. No? We weren't happy. She was the one brave enough to face that. Lost in my head again. How much time did I miss? Well, he was much, much younger in that scene, so this must have been many, many years ago, it looks like. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, hold on a second. Can I pause this? Yes. Uh, I got a couple contributions that came in that I want to give a shout-out. Um, first of all, Jackalies just tipped me... One hundred dollars. Thank you very, very, very much, Jackalese. I certainly was not expecting that tonight. And he says the following. All the stupid PS5s are just sold out. So here's a hundred. I'm finally here, by the way. I hope you've been doing well. Uh, things have been good. You know, I've, I've been telling everyone I have having more fun, like seriously, this last three weeks. Just playing games with you guys. 
because everything's a new release. There's so much new shit going on right now because of the new console releases. And I've just been having a blast um, with everything. So, seriously, like, I, I'm having more fun now than I think I've had in a long time gaming. And I'm ha the streams are great. The variety of stuff we're playing is great. So, thank you guys for hanging out with me these last few weeks, okay? <clears throat> All right. So, thank you, Jagglies, for a $100 tip. Obviously, that means, yes, let's have a, a poll for the, for the vest. I wore the beige vest earlier today. So, every other vest would be eligible tonight. Uh, if, there, if there was a moderator available to do it, please do. If not, I'll do it myself. But I think there were moderators around. Um, Gunnar Henson to me a dollar thirty. He says you can actually play the Pac-Man game. Really? So it's in here? Oh, that's cool. So later on, Pac-Man will be in here. You'll be able to play it. I played classic Pac-Man, of course. Uh, Sonos 1982. Did a 300 bit cheers to shout out to my buddy Inja. All right, well, shout out to Inja and thank you, Sonos, for the cheer, biggest cheer of the night. <clears throat> Sonos, 1982. I don't think we have a mod pay, check, paying attention right now. Yeah, we do now. Okay, I'll set up the the, uh, the poll myself then. Oh, really? There's someone here making racist comments? Thank you for letting me know. I'll take care of it. Got rid of them. Okay. So thank you, Sonos, for the biggest cheer of the night. And now I need to set up the vest pole, right? The vest pole. Okay. Okay, here we go. Shit, I can't type tonight. All right, here we go. Let's see if you guys want... You guys have been picking a lot of variety in the vests recently, which I appreciate. I like wearing different vests. So. Wait, a poll's already active. What is this? What? Someone already put up a poll. Ugh. All right, people are voting. Please vote on the vest, guys. All right, let's continue while, while the poll's going. Read a new journal entry? So, investigation. I decided to take a walk on the promontory before Nick's funeral. I thought I wasn't ready to face Basswood again, but the past is already pulling me back in. My memories are so vivid as if I'd never left. Take a walk, remember the night at the spyglass, and then return to the car. You're, you've wasted enough time. You scold yourself. You've wasted enough time. Get the fuck back, you fucking irresponsible idiot. <laughs> now we're back. Wow, now we're way back to 60 frames again. This is going to be a weird playthrough because the, the frame rate changes a lot. A lot. Maybe I should the funeral. Maybe it's for the best. I On think the I'm gonna. Side, Nick's not alive for me to let him down again. He missed the funeral. That's kind of messed up. Um, well, I'm gonna move it over here only because, as you can see, for some reason the main character here, I think his name is Sam, is uh, looks like his head's always gonna be in the upper left hand corner of the screen. So instead of blocking it with my camera, I'll just move my camera. I can't seem to walk any faster than this. By the way, I'm stuck at this walking speed. <laughs> okay. Oh, you got signal again? It's Walter. Are you still coming? Sorry, Walter, but I don't think I'll stick around. Given up already? Just a quick, depressing jaunt down memory lane, and then you're gone? That's <laughs> it. I know you think that the only thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Wait a minute. Lots of hurt. What is going on right now? But it's been two years. Huh? It's time to face the world. The time fuck is going on? Point. The good news, though. At least, you don't have to do it alone. Oh, God. Does he have another personality in his head? T talks to him? It sure looks like it. Right? We've got another deadly premonition situation, everyone. A character, a main protagonist character, who apparently has another personality in his head. All right. Shout out to Hygienic Streamer Tips. It took me two dollars. He said, "A while back, I changed my name to something I thought was funny, but I got banned because of it. I'm hoping in a month I can change my name back and I'll be able to get unbanned. It's possible. You'll have to contact me about it once you change your name. You're still coming. I really hope you can make it uh, to the wake. I'll be at Haven or at the Haven. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not that that many tips. Let's let's calm down here a second. Uh, okay. So I got to put on the platinum vest, by the way." I have a chance to do it. Let's do that now, since we have a chance. Also, I'm out of water, if you can believe it. Ugh, I drank all my water already. Uh, 
the silly platinum vest. Okay. So guys, give me a second. I'm just going to fill my water too. I'll be right back, okay? Fill it up. Fill her up. Okay. Here we are. Oh. All right, well, well. Oh, by the way, wow, now I can definitely see my camera is completely off. Look at that. I fucked it up. Wow, I'm glad that I sat down to look here. At least fix this. Wow, it's not even close to being centered. There we are. That's better, right? Okay. Um, now I'm good. Vest is on, glasses are on, full water, we're ready to go. But I received an $11 anonymous tip that said, let's try to even out the tips go, I hate uneven numbers. Well, actually, this just made it uneven again, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, it did. He says, I'm glad you received a lot of support these past two streams, and fuck that guy for committing, ch committing charge back fraud. Yeah, it's really shitty. Uh, I don't really want to talk about it tonight, I just want to get into this game and relax. But I do appreciate that earlier today you guys were very supportive, and already tonight... We just started, and you guys have been super-duper supportive. So I appreciate that a lot. Thank you guys for the support, okay? I really do appreciate it. And uh, it basically allows me to not have to worry because I had a day yesterday that literally I made no money because now things were good today. So thank you for that. Um, Inja8089 just gifted a sub to Greasy Pete 27 Congratulations, Greasy Pete. Thank you, Inja, for the support. Okay, ready? So Nick won't care. I'm almost there. Uh, Nick won't care, yeah, because Nick is dead. I mean, should I say the ultimate dick thing? You know what? I might. Why don't I I'd be a dick? Nick won't care. Nick isn't going to care how late I am. Lost the signal. Something never changed. It didn't work. Huh. <laughs> So, a guy who apparently left town a long time ago, was it because his proposal to this Anna was rejected that he left town? I don't know. I got a trophy way back home. That was the name of the trophy. Um, but, he's coming back to town because uh, apparently someone he knew is Nick, uh, who actually had asked him to be the godfather of their, their kid, passed away. So there you go. Missed the funeral, but going to the wake. And apparently the guy has an alternate personality in his head. Miner's Haven uh, parking lot. There we go. Time to get drunk. Let's do it. Get nice and drunk. On piss water beer. Piss water tap beer. Joan Bug Waldron, that's who was waiting for him. Nick's daughter. Can't imagine what she's going through. Oh, the daughter was asked, he was asked to be the godfather to. Good thing he said no, or he'd have to be Bug's dad. Yumi, you actually came. It's been a while. You've gotten taller. How did Nick die? Can we talk? We're talking right now. <laughs> it's cold. How old is Bug? I thought she was like super young, but apparently she could drive. This is her car. So. You left. Joan, that's not fair. You left. Let me explain. Let's not talk about this. I'm sorry. Let me explain. How about that? 
it was more complicated than just me and you. Or well, maybe it's, it's his car. I guess it's his car. Wait a minute. If it's his car, why did she get in the driver's seat? This is so confusing. <laughs> Why'd she get in the driver's seat? Maybe she is super young then. I can't I can't read. I thought maybe she's one of those people who like just looks like a kid even when they're an adult. Uh, some people are like that. Anyway, Dr. To uh yeah, Dr. Tony Hughes just sent me three dollars. He says 125 looks better. Uh, I'm tired of time to chill and relax for the rest of the night. Thank you very much for a three dollar tip. Appreciate that. So he has rounded out our tips to $125 tonight. It's good to know. Thank you very much for that. Okay. Continuing on. <clears throat> Joan, listen. After Anna and I broke up, I couldn't keep living with her. I didn't have anywhere else to stay. So I moved back in with my mom, who's over in Connecticut these days. Connecticut? <laughs> call, text, or anything. You were just gone. I don't know what to say to that. You're right. I wasn't in a state where I could reach out to anyone. You ran like a bitch. I'm still not. If Nick hadn't died, I never would have come back. Thanks for being honest. You're always at least honest. This game already is a completely false premise. There's absolutely no fucking way that he would go and leave and go to Connecticut. No one leaves anywhere and goes to Connecticut intentionally. People just end up in Connecticut, okay? That's how it works. No one actually intentionally says, I want to move to Connecticut. The only the only other people there are people who are moving to Connecticut because they're moving to the ritzy part because it's super rich part, like Greenwich. Or if you have a job in that tri-state area where you need to commute and you can't get a home near your house, your place where you work, you go live in Connecticut so you can easily commute back and forth, like take the train or whatever. But no one moves to Connecticut from a nicer place. Okay? No one. Listen, I, uh... I wanted to talk to you about... Okay. ...what happened to Dad. It doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have just crashed. Crash? So it's a he car crash? Yeah. You know it's... wrong. I don't buy it. Huh. I'm just in town for the funeral, Joan. I'm not a PI or a cop. You're the closest thing I can talk to. Will you just look into it, Muley? Please. Why not? Why don't the she police look into it? She wants her father's death <laughs> to mean something. But where does that lead? Uh oh, it's the other personality. The hell? What if it leads to the truth? That could change everything. An hour ago, you wanted to run away. Now you want to start another investigation? A few questions won't hurt anyone. Uh, just tonight. To reassure her. And myself. This is a wake. If you poke around, people may end up poking back. Okay, whatever you do, at least leave the kid out of it. It would be cruel to lead her on. Friends don't lie to each other. Even if it means disappointing her again. It's your what happened? Time freeze? When he talks to this other personality, does time freeze? It does. This is weird. So, yeah. Depending on, on, on... He has these weird conversations with himself that freeze time, his alternate personality, and then he has to make choices dependent on that. What do you think? Keep her out of it or promise to look into it? Ugh. <laughs> Uh, Internet Famous McCroy to the dollar thirty and said, "Well, now I made it 126, so now the, the total screwed up again." <laughs> Thank you, Internet Famous McCroy. He made it uneven again. How dare you? Oh, uh, should he be a complete dick to this girl, or should he, you know? Ah, fuck it. There. Okay, I'll see what I can see and all that. Gumshoe it up. You will. You make some good points. It doesn't fit. I hate when things don't fit. Yeah, me too. I might just be, I don't know, crazy or something, but... You want to know for sure. I get it. Thanks, Muley. I, um... I should go in before my mom misses me. You better get in there, too. Can't hide in your car all night. <laughs> Who says I'm hiding out here? I do. See you inside. 
I have absolutely no idea what gameplay elements this game has. Someone just asked me. I don't know. I don't know if it's just kind of choose your own adventure choices or more. Now, Sir Spartan King took another dollar and said, oh no, 127. What a nasty number. Now someone has to fix it. Thank you guys for the tips. <clears throat> Why was she in the driver's seat if it wasn't her car? That's weird. That's very odd. So that's when he left? This must have been many years ago, right? She grew up. Now she's a teenager before she wasn't. That's what it looks like. Take your pills. Take your candy. Oh, delicious candy. I love those Tic Tacs. I suck them right down. <laughs> what the hell is it? What is this, this drugs? I guess when you start seeing your alternate personality in the car with you, that's when you start taking your drugs. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Journal has been updated. Go inside the bar. Everyone knows Nick and I were the best friends. Everyone thinks I owe it to him to be here. His daughter, Joan, goes even further. She thinks I should stay here and investigate her father's death. Our old boss, Walter, is sure to have something to say, too, so I won't be able to sneak past him. Oh, man. Internet Famous McCroy tipped another dollar thirty. says the next person that tips is, is going to Connecticut. Well, now you've done it because now no one's going to tip. You realize that, right? You ruined it. Absolutely no one wants to go to Connecticut, so <laughs> that's it for the tips tonight. Oh, well. Thanks for the good run, everybody. <laughs> so... Can we steal someone else's car here? Yeah, look. Kathy's car. Her car is older than her daughter. What? Why do I care about that? Romy Rowe just resold for 32 months. Holy crap. Thank you so much, Romy Rowe. He says, thanks for almost three years of entertainment. Do you plan on doing most side content in Cyberpunk? I don't even know what side content there is in Cyberpunk. Let's just see. I, I seriously have done everything I can to not spoil myself on Cyberpunk. I don't know anything about the characters. I don't know anything about the story. I don't know anything about the content. We're just going to play it and have fun with it. So... We'll see what happens come Thursday. Basswood police car? The force has seen better days. Some of the police force stopped by. <clears throat> which means most of the police force stopped by. I guess it means it's such a small town they don't have a lot of police. Where are all the secrets in the back here? There's got to be some secret stuff back here. we got some kind of a shopping center, but you can't get to it. Oh, you hear that? There's a cat fight going on back there. The coal miner's haven? Bars change its logo, but never change the name. The old bar sign. <clears throat> Reminds me of when Nick and I were still kids. <clears throat> they just left it out at the back? Oh, lost and found? Find one memento. That was a, considered a memento. Bar, bar's back door coming through the back as you look. He keeps a spare key around, but I should use the front. All right, sneak in the back. Fuck them all. Who cares? So now it's smooth 60 frames I'll again. Talk to Walter. <laughs> Very jarring. I'll have to sooner or later. Rick Stevens, Europe, just t cheered and said, "You ever worry someone will start squatting in your Connecticut condo and potentially getting title to the property through adverse possession?" It's not how it works, and it's already it's in foreclosure. It doesn't matter who's squatting in there. I, it's not going to be my property anymore, so I don't care. Constantine Luke Janik tipped me a dollar and said, "Always wanted to live in America." Next one who tips is going to play Epic Mickey. There you go. Thank you for the dollar tip. So Constantine is moving to Connecticut, and uh, Randy O'Butternup just told me $4.20, is I guess better than New Jersey. No, Randy O'Butternup, now you're stuck. You have to play Epic Mickey, per what Constantine just said. So thank you for the $4.20 tip, but Randy O'Butternup, you better go buy a Wii immediately to play Epic Mickey. <clears throat> Coal Miner's Haven. Same old town, yeah. same old bar. The more things change. <clears throat> okay. Look at the yes. size the of that sweater. Sink. Yes, yes it is, mother. Trust me. Oh, Samuel is here. I'll call you back. Samuel Higgs. Two long years since we last saw each other. Only two years? What? You're he looks way later. older. You completely missed the funeral. I'm here for next week, at least. You have to bring it in for a hug. It's a basswood back in town requirement. So good to see you. Even if I wish the circumstances were different. I guess in hug times him? like these, we need the comforting touch of others. At least I do. I, if you don't do anything, it picks a default for you. I wanted to see what would happen, and it picked hug. I didn't do that. Also, have you spoken to Anna lately? No, why? Um, no reason. Oh, she's dead. 
If you get the chance, we should catch up. We should really catch up. I'll see you inside. Now to eat 17 Philly steak and cheeses to maintain my immense girth. <laughs> so I guess maybe, maybe that was Walter, the old boss. Ugh, I'm not ready for this. Y'all ready for this? He wasn't ready for that. Here we go. It's a... <laughs> All right, maybe 17 is a lot of steak and cheeses. Maybe like seven steak and cheeses. There you go. No, I did not have a McRib. I'm not eating a fucking McRib. I used to, I had the McRib before. I did a DSP tries it on. It's not good. It's oh, it's just average. Not good at all. It's not even rib meat. Coal Miner's Haven. Why are they playing Irish music in here? Right? It sounds Mr. like an Irish ballad. Samuel Higgs. Big shot investigative reporter. Didn't think you'd ever be back in here. Why do they have such I'd rural accents? Slash your tires. Well, that mean you couldn't leave town. And you are leaving town right after this, right? Just let it slide. If you aren't, well, Nick's memory only Let's go with the so camera. Far. Look at my camera. I can ro I can wiggle it with my right thumbstick. Look at that. I can wiggle the camera. <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Okay, I'm not gonna do that anymore. Wiggling. Come on, it ain't worth it. Super Blind Man just cheered. What's going on, man? He says, uh, how's the game so far? I miss anything particularly spectacular? Nope, we're just in the intro segment. Really nothing interesting's happened yet. This guy this guy is returning back to his hometown that he's been gone for two years. He proposed to some girl, apparently she said she didn't say no, she just said she didn't want to be married. And I guess it really, like, wrecked him. So he left town. And now his friend from town who he left behind just passed away in a car accident. So he's coming back for the week. Doctor, <clears throat> been a while. Hey, careful. I'd rather not be working tonight. And you always seem to angry up everyone's blood. Leave me as soon as I can. He started just here for Nick. Leave me as soon as I, I plan can. I to be out of here by morning. Don't want to stay any more than you want me here. Uh, don't rush out of here on their account, but maybe don't dawdle either. You watch yourself. Okay. I think it's time I go put up a photo at the memorial board. That's what people do, right? Do they? So the cop's name is Declan? Attend the wig and pay homage to Nick. Declan lacks subtlety, but he loves this town like no one else. Miners? Old timers in general already don't like me, and the article just made it worse. The article? So apparently he wrote an article about the town that pissed everybody off? That's what it sounds like. Booth Ampluster? Hasn't been replaced in decades. That's where Nick and I sat every time he dragged me out for drinks after work. Huh. Okay. Do, 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 do. Tara? Sammy. Oh, it's been ages. Tara? Oh, me? I've had this stomach thing lately, always churning. Uh. And this thing with Nick? His car went up like a Sunday ham. He burned alive, you know. What the fuck? Have you met Hugh? He took what is over with the her? pharmacy just after you left. Um, no. The infamous Sam. I've read that article you wrote on the mine. You must have put in a lot of legwork on that. What do you think of it? It took a lot of research. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, uh, you read it. What do you think? Of the writing? Fine. Fine. Of the reporting? <laughs> Something that needed to be done. Many medicines are a bitter brew, but you still need to take them. That's nice of you to say. Oh, don't hesitate to drop by the pharmacy sometime. Oh, and Sam, you... But for now, I have a feeling you're not here for us. Oh, oh, right. Gonna be a stranger, Sam. Weird woman. First thing she does is talk about her stomach. And then <laughs> it just starts talking about weird shit. Like, what? 
Uh, so Sparring King to me another two dollars. So whoever tips next has to fight the human old monk for twenty-four straight hours. So there you go. So whoever tips next, I hope you're good at Demon Souls. Thank you for a two dollar tip, Sir Spartan King. Okay. Sheriff? Bess always had a soft spot for Nick. I think she liked his work ethic. So Bess is the sheriff. There she is. Hugh is the new pharmacist no owner. Pretty courageous of him to try his luck in Basswood, given the state of things. Four thousand. That's what crooked pharmacists want. Jukebox? Mind Palace? Huh? I can't believe this whole thing's still working. What the heck? Uh... Okay. Memory of a jukebox. Oh, jeez. Scare me, dude. <clears throat> Remember. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Open your eyes and wake up. Memory of his former girl, I guess. Daddy, daddy, daddy. But when the lights are out, it's time for me to show you. They're great dancers. Look at this. Oh, yeah. They've been practicing. Look at that. Some ballroom. Next, they're going to be doing the Vienna walls. Viennese walls, I mean. And some ballet. Then some heavy crumping afterward. Irish uh, river dancing, line dancing. What's going on with the music? What the hell? Uh, I think the record broke. Well, that was depressing. Arcade machine. Nick always had the high Nick score. Nick and I spent so much money on this machine. On Pac-Man? I mean, it's, I, I'm sorry. It's kind of hard for me to believe people spend a ton of money on Pac-Man in the modern day. A drum kit. Used by garage bands. Ethan tries to support the local scene. Billiard table, slightly short back corner leg gives an advantage to regulars. Huh. There's Bug. Also there's Joan. You'd think a kid at a bar would stand out more. Why is she in here? And there's Declan. Declan lacks subtlety, but he loves this town like no one else. Okay, anything else in here before we, uh... There's Walter, so we were right. That was your former boss. Walter can be overwhelming at times, but he means well. Collection of bottles, Ethan. He's owned this bar for almost a decade and still can't afford another employee. So you should read Great Expectations. It's a masterpiece, plain and simple. I've never known Tara to not take over a conversation. One of those people, huh? What? What'd you say? I can't believe he showed up. What the fuck you say? Flip that table right onto them. Fuck them. Assholes. Okay. Kathy? There was no love lost between Kathy and Nick since their divorce. Oh. But anyone can see his she's ex. taking his death hard. Okay. Interesting. Kathy, uh... Sam, you actually came. I know you go. two haven't been together for a long time, but I'm still sorry. Well, you hadn't been close in years, but he was my daughter's father. I'll miss him. Joan was really hurt when you left town. Yes, yeah, Joan's mother. Nick then. and I were never close after the breakup, and Joan's never had a lot of friends. Yeah. Um. Maybe don't break her heart this time when you leave town. All right? What? Joan thinks Nick was murdered. Your daughter thinks Nick's crash doesn't make sense. 
She's a little girl who lost her father. She's confused right now. Don't you go encouraging her, or worse, putting those thoughts in her head? I frankly thought you knew better. Do you think she has a point? I think you should stay away from her. Oh, shit. She does not like him. Damn. <laughs> okay, so this is what you're putting on here? A photo? A mi we go to the Mind Palace to relive this memory, I guess. Let's do that. Mind Palace. Is this how you guys keep your memories sorted? You have a big palace full of floating crystals in the sky, and you sort through your memories this way? Uh, I don't think I do that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is not where I go when I remember things from the past. Okay. Ah! Remember Pac-Man. The authentic sound effects. Waka, 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 waka. You're a lot like Pac-Man, Sam. I consume everything in my path. You find every last bite. The mind closing wasn't your fault. Your investigation just hurried things up. You probably saved some lives, you know. Hi, Dad. Hi, Muley. You piece of Language. Shit. Uh. What the, the hell? Ring? Uh oh. I didn't know you were thinking about marriage. Oh, it's just. It feels like the right thing to do. Dad, what's the point of getting married? There is none. It's just one of those things people do, bug. <laughs> Here, you can play. Someone has to show you grown-ups. Video games are the realm of the young. Have you talked What is this thing? It's so old like a like a small That's child's toy. I'm not playing I'll this. Talk to her about it when I show her the ring. If you say so. Hey, just remember I'm here, right? If you need anything. Anything but my arcade secrets. Those I'll take to the grave. Okay then. <laughs> Sorry we lost touch. Sorry I lost touch. Rust up, big guy. Nick and Sam. We drove straight to the sea after work on a Friday. Hell of a weekend. Nick and Kathy. Bug was so small back then. A baby. Zibibi. Those two were a great team. Huh. Super Blind Man just truly said, well, it might not look like this in everyone's head. The Mind Palace technique is a real-life memory technique. It forces you to put things into some kind of order that they'll only make sense to you, but it works for you. Huh. I don't think I've ever done anything like that. <clears throat> Interesting. Uh, what am I looking at? This is Nick, Joan, and Sam in a picture. Look at us. That's the one he just put there. This is an extreme close-up of, of Joan. It's very creepy, actually. They won't let me look at that one. Yes, they will. He was more her best friend than a dad. Hmm. Happier times. But Sam... Why would that be on the memory board? It's not even him, is it? Oh, it's Nick and Anna? Oh, okay. <laughs> wonder who took that picture. That must have been him. That's the Basswood Jungle Team. What the hell is a jungle... Jungle Team? What's a jungle team? A team that goes... That goes to the jungle? What the fuck's a jungle team? Anyone know what that is? What's a jungle team? <laughs> Never heard of that before. A jungle team. They don't live in the jungle, so what does that mean? Anyway, I don't know. Here's the main picture of Nick. This photo always looked weird. Nick could never keep a straight face. Okay. I have no idea what a jungle team is. Samuel. Guess I lost the bet. Bet? Yeah, that bet you'd never come back to Basswood. <laughs> Not after you went careening out of town like a bat out of hell the instant that article broke bad. It's not why I left. I won my bet. Who was the bet with? Okay, I'll bite. Tell me, Dennis, who did you have a standing bet with? Myself. Oh, so my I God. Guess I also won. What are you even doing here, Dennis? You and Nick become friends or something? Nope. He thought I was a drunk, which I am. And I thought he was a hack, which he was. Wow. This coming from the IT guy. Didn't know resetting passwords could give you a journalism degree. 
It can. But it does give me less patience for people who sling mud my way. The hell? He's got a gun now? Did you just flash a gun at a wake? I'm just playing. <laughs> at least tell me how you've been. What an ass. If you must know, I still haven't bounced back from when Anna and I broke up. I think you mentioned she broke up with you. Yeah, but I hear you. Yeah, that's how I ended up in this shit town. Chasing a woman. Yeah, then she left and I got stuck here with two kids. Damn. <laughs> anyway, Owned. cheers to Nick. A man that, unlike us, people actually liked. Speaking of which... Anna? Yup. She needs chapstick, someone said. Dude, she's probably mourning the loss of Nick. Shut up. You're crying tears of salty sadness onto those lips. Dry them out. All right? I don't want to hear that. Wow, that was super duper sad, man. That's making me tear up. It's not even a real person, and that shit made me tear up. That was pretty emotional. 50 Big Quan, thanks for the cheer. There's no way I'm reading about that right now. There's enough silly stuff going on in the game to be thinking about what you just said. So Nick's week has barely started. I've already had some uncomfortable conversations. The most awkward one yet is yet to come. The one I'm about to have with Anna for the first time after two years. Oh, shit. All right, here we go. 